Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again. Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, very interesting. So, today, I didn't lose my shit. So, like, all these things that you're seeing unfold in the 3D realm, should we say, right? Um, yeah, it's all... <laughs> all these things have a certain agenda, right? And for those who are... For those who have eyes to see, will be able to see um, what kind of direction we're going collectively, right? So, all this cashless stuff, all these certain laws and restrictions that are being put in place, right? Like, they've all got a, a, an agenda behind them, right? So, for those who are already aware, you will understand. For those who don't understand what's going on, either you can listen up or take it or leave it so anyway i was speaking to my friend about this yesterday <laughs> and i was talking about going into sainsbury's um when it go when i go into sainsbury's and that like i don't scan the barcode i just push the barrier right you can call me rebellious or whatever you want but i am not a barcode i am not a sheep so ended up not yeah it was basically not an argument yeah it was an argument fuck it yeah it was an argument like the security guard tried to tell man tried to say two words to man and i was like bruv do I look like a thief? I paid for my food. Do I look like a barcode? And he tried to say, say another two words and I was like, listen, I was going to get to the point where I was going to say, like, take your uniform off and we'll go outside, innit? Because I'm not, like, I'm not following these stupid agendas. <laughs> so today, we went shopping, right? I can't deal with this hood. So I went shopping, <laughs> standing in the queue, standing in the queue. And like I said, these things I've got on a certain agenda, right? So every time you go shopping, you're going to start seeing, well, you probably start seeing it already, contactless this, pay this, and self-checkout, and blah, blah, blah. But you're forgetting that you are the customer, yeah? You're the customer. But they're pushing uh, for the collective and things to go the way they want them to go, right? So if I'm the customer, the customer's always right, right? Yeah? But not in the big chain supermarkets. They're telling you and giving you what they want to give and tell you, right? So, <laughs> this is a part channeled message as well, just to let you guys know. Not like the part that's, that I'm getting to. So, I was like, right, cool. I was waiting and waiting, waiting in line. And there must have been about about 10 people that want to pay cash, yeah? So I was like, all right, cool. Now, uh, one of the workers was like, oh yeah, any card payment? And I was like, well, excuse me, come here. So I come here. Man, come over. He's like, where's your manager? <laughs> and he's like, excuse me? He's like, where's your manager? I was like, call him. I need to speak to him now. So the man's called the manager. The manager's come now. And then man, and I was like, all right. So every time I come here, like, there's always a big queue. Yeah, I just want to get my things and leave. And use a lot of slowing man down. Yeah? And I was like, so why aren't these tools open? <clears throat> oh, because it's company policy and this and that. I was like, all right, cool, I hear what you're saying. That's fine, all right, cool. So you explain that. I was like, all right, that's fine. But <laughs> what's funny is there will be, like I keep saying, there will be a day of judgment, right? And for those people that have <laughs> these certain, for the people at the top, they have certain agendas, right? And then it goes down the pyramid, right? <laughs> so as for my guy saying, it's company policy and stuff, day of judgment will come, yeah? And you will also be judged for certain things. And this is not just that worker that I'm just talking about in general. So you have certain, these big corporations, yeah? Have certain things in place and they give the dirty work to the managers, yeah? So when that day of judgment comes, yes, you managers are gonna be judged too <laughs> because it's company policy and you're trying to push a certain narrative on the people and the collective, which is, will not be tolerated. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. So, anyway. So, yeah, all this control censorship and certain things, that's going down a certain way. And them barriers will no longer, they will not stay in place. They will crumble. They will crumble, yeah? So all you're seeing in this 3D realm is gonna collapse, yeah? The materialism and the consumerism, that time is done. 
that time was the age of Pisces. We are going into the age, either we're in the age of Aquarius or we're very much going in that direction and it's happening. From the technology wise, I would say we're already there because the age of Aquarius is about technology and information. And we, we're at the point where we have all the information at the drop of a hat, that your, the phone in your hand, you can research everything that you need. So even kids going to school, kids don't really need to go to school because they can research everything that they actually need. Yeah, like cooking recipes. Like I come from, I'm from the nineties, isn't it? We had to research and write down and read books. These times you don't even need to do all that. You can just go on your phone, get a few things, and then boom, get things popping in it. So just for them people out there, don't be getting um, dragged down with the matrix. That's all I'm saying. Don't let your bosses and managers and certain things, yeah, keep you tied to the matrix. Because when that day comes, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, that's all I'm saying. When the day, there will be, I don't know when, but there will be a time and it's coming, it's coming, like the day of judgment, isn't it? So if you've not been a somewhat honest person, should we say, and not trying to live up to your highest good and do the good for humanity, yeah? I'm talking about humanity as a whole, not I, yeah? That day of judgment will come. <laughs> and it's not going to be nice. So when you, <laughs> that's, yeah, I can't say too much in it because yeah, um, it's, it may be a bit too much information for people. But yeah, that day, just make sure you're doing the best you can. Um, the best you can with what you can, yeah? Not, don't be listening to like all these certain, I don't know, I don't know, I can't even word it properly. Sometimes when I get some, the information, it's hard to actually put the information into words, right? But there are certain agendas that are taking place. And if you are taking, if you are participating in these agendas, yeah? Then you're gonna be judged like the people that are running the show, yeah? Like these entities, should we say. They're gonna be judged and their time is coming to an end. And what they're trying to do is bring as many people down with them as possible. So by them putting certain things in place, if you are a manager and they're the big corporation and you're keeping these, you're helping them assist with these rules and regulations and censorship, you're going to go down with them, just to let you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. That was one subject. The other subject is this weather. A lot of people think, oh, this weather is natural and da 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 da. This is very unnatural, yeah? And if you guys should, you guys should know this by now. Everything can, everything can be controlled and can be manipulated. If you think this weather is real, yeah? Google Harp. H-A-A-R-P, yeah? Just to see what, just to inform yourselves. Um, what was I gonna say? Because these times, you know, a few, like we meant to have this storm in London yesterday. I didn't even know, because I was just, I was not interested. I don't pay attention to the news. I just looked out the window, and the, the, the rain was mad. And I was like, bruv, all right, here we go again. Every time I look out the window, I just look out the window to see what chapter in Revelations that we're playing, taking, playing out today. I swear down, yeah? Because I'm looking out the window and thinking, blood, there is mad rain. Like these times, mum was looking, don't be fooled, yeah? Don't let this technology, when you're looking on the, the weather app, oh yeah, it's minus five. Bruv, it's not minus five out, outside. Listen, I can tell you, like, just in general, yeah? Bruv, like, you can't feel the weather. <laughs> because, listen, what was it, a few days before that, I was outside grounding, like I had my feet on the ground, and then I think it was like, dude, it was warm, yeah? It was warm. Before, like, if you put your feet on the ground, when it's gonna be cold, yeah? You feel that, so I was outside grinding, my feet were on grass and it was warm, yeah? And then, next day I woke up, man's talking about, yeah, it was minus two, or it is minus two, and I was like, 
but that don't make no sense. There's no build up to the weather. Everything is happening very dramatically, yeah? And it's not real. <coughs> yeah, it's not real. Like everything that you see in this in this 3D realm is is not real, yeah? <laughs> and um it's like yeah, it's just the things that are taking place in the, the matrix, it is looking more and more like a cheap film, a very cheap film. That like certain things and agendas and things that are taking place, that like none of it will make sense <laughs> if you haven't been questioning it. Like, why, yeah, are certain countries giving certain other countries money for war? Dude, you need to worry about your own country, yeah? Just to let you know. And all this, like, <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to speak too much about that anyway. But yeah, like, question things. Where are all your tax, tax, where's all your tax money going? Yeah, where's all the tax money going? Just for instance, you're paying road tax and the roads are shit. And you're paying road tax and they're locking off all the roads. So, yeah, don't, yeah, I don't know. And for... <laughs> I'm going to say it. Well, in this day and age, yeah, we are the only country with a monarchy. Why is this so? Why have we got a monarchy? Why, in 2024, do you still want to be worshipped? Yeah? I think last year, was it last year or two years ago? No, it was last year, I swear, when the Queen, Queen died. You, my brother had people waiting out in the cold for him to drive past in his golden chariot and when we have across the living crisis, yeah? So the people that you're worshipping, they don't give a shit about you, just to let you know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, but, um, yeah. Yeah, when we, we got across the living crisis, we've got, I think this is probably, there's more food banks open than ever, and you've got, these people that want to go around in a golden chariot, yeah? And be worshipped and have people out in the cold wanting to respect them. Well, this is like everyone's choice at the end of the day. You're choosing to go out and stand out in the cold. So that's the choice at the end of the day. But they're not there to help you, these entities. They're not there to help you. They're actually sucking your energy and bleeding you dry without you even, no, no, even realising, yeah? <sighs> yeah, but this... this, this this, um, this weather, like these times it's hot now. It is warm, I don't know if it's this jacket, but like, no, nah, it's not even, no, it's not even cold. Like, I ain't even got gloves on. Like the other day, where was it? I was spray painting my bike, yeah? And um, it's cool, spray painting the bike. It's like, it's like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm done spraying. And I was wearing my little thin jacket. Listen, within, it was so dramatic. Within half an hour, it was freezing. And dude, like, Everything goes in a cycle, yeah? There is a build up to things. Things do not happen dramatically, like certain things don't happen dramatically, yeah? Like weather change, there's a build up. Not, yeah, it's warm and then boom, cold. Or you're looking out the window, oh yeah, it's boom. Boom, rain, like heavy rain. Listen, there was inches of rain yesterday. And I just looked on, like, I just went on Insta, no, YouTube, and it popped up. Oh yeah, there was a storm. I was like, what? what? Oh, that's what all the rain was. I was like, bro, where the hell is the rain? But what's very interesting, yeah, is because these entities can manipulate certain things, right? There's always cause and effect, yeah? <laughs> so, where you're making one thing happen, it's going to affect another thing, just to let you guys know, right? So, where the earth is changing, the, land, the landscapes are changing. Where there was water, there's gonna, it's gonna be dry, yeah? So for instance, actually no, I'll tell a lie, no. The landscape is actually changing and it's going more back to like Atlantis times and Lemuria, where it was more water. Because the last ice age froze over most of the water. So now the water is melting and it's gonna go back to like Atlantean times where there's more water and less land. <coughs> and if you haven't noticed, this is why the earth is heating up to melt that ice and 
people think, oh, it's global warming. No, it's not global warming. The Earth is going through its 20, 26,000-year cycle or something like that. They call it the Kali Yuga. And this, we're in it now, and everything is changing. The land mass is going to change. Um, all these, some of the, the weather conditions and things that are happening are being manipulated, but the world is the landscape, and that is changing. Like things are changing in it, and that is um, Mother Earth. She's changing, so it's a bit hard to judge certain things. But certain things are just being manipulated to hell. <clears throat> and, uh, and interesting, I was actually speaking to one of my friends at college, which is very interesting. And she she said she'd done a nutrition course or whatever, and um, they tested food from like Sainsbury's and Tesco's, uh, but to see how much nutrition is in the food. And on the test that they've done. The food from Tesco's and Sainsbury's have little to no nutrients in them. <laughs> yeah? So you're seeing all these fruit and veg and that. They're all GMO food and veg and fruit and veg. So they, th this is why your energy levels are low and you're functioning at a low level because you're not even getting the right. This is why we've got to take supplements because your body's not getting what we need. Like you should be able to get iron from eating spinach. You should get vitamin C from oranges. Like if you look at some of the food, <laughs> some of the food ain't even got seeds. So if the food doesn't, if the fruit doesn't produce seeds, how can it reproduce? And where is it coming from? Yeah, just to let you know, just to, just to open up your mind a little bit. Some people are just gonna be shocked and brain hurting and all of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so things are gonna be coming more to light, yeah? And it's going to be very interesting to see how things unfold because things are going to, things are unfolding and they're going to continue to unfold, yeah? And this is why they call it the Great Awakening or the Apocalypse because it is the lifting of the veil. Things are coming to light. And if you're resisting the change, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you. That's all I'm saying. So if either you're going to be healing, yeah, or you're going to be resisting and healing isn't always easy it's not easy I can tell you that but it's better than resisting because resisting you're going to be going down with the ship yeah like all these things that are in place like I was saying in the matrix oh yeah like why do you think everything's so high right now because it's coming to an end we're watching the collapse of Rome <laughs> and before there's a collapse of society there's more rules and regulation in place <laughs> just to let you guys know yeah this ain't the first this ha it has happened before this has happened we've done this before in with Atlantis and Lemuria we're just doing it all over again but this time it's like the final time should we say we didn't come through all this evolution for it to just come to an end because of these entities should we say <laughs> so yeah use lot can try to keep these little boundaries and rules and regulations in place but they, they they're not going to last innit that's all I'm saying like yeah you <laughs> if you understood how powerful you are yeah yeah you would, you would understand why these entities are trying to slow you down because we generate well most of us anyway for it, I'll, actually I'll speak from the eye I generate energy I am a battery so energy man produce that energy and if you know man, if you see man in person, you can feel my energy speaks volumes, yeah? <clears throat> and these entities out there, they can't produce energy like that. And they have, to, they have to siphon their energy and harvest their energy through people's fear, yeah? <laughs> there are only two real emotions in the universe, and that's love and fear. And they're just opposite ends of each other. They're two sides of the same coin. People think there's God and the devil. The God and the devil are the same entity because there was only one. Yeah, just to let you guys know. Very interesting. But yeah, anyway, that was just a quick video. Look at the sun beam there, Dad. No, the moon. She's doing the most. We've got a full, full moon in two days as well. I can feel it already. She is kicking my ass, bro. But so we had this storm yesterday night. Where's the rain now? That was like, what, one day of storm? Yeah, uh, very natural. That storm usually goes on for a good few days. Not, oh yeah, a couple hours of heavy rain and then nothing. Like the ground's dry and there was meant to be a storm. So I don't know where, where what the bloody hell is happening or what, what they're trying to tell people in, in the, yeah, with these certain things. But yeah, this video is getting a bit long.
Um, I'm going to hit you guys up real soon in a peace, love and light, guys.